Okay then, so I'm back again living a champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget and tonight I am at the Ramada Chorley South and this is what you get for £36 tonight. Just have a quick look round. So I've booked a family room tonight and this is what you get. You get a big double bed here and then we've got another one here that is a sofa. There's not a lot of room between them though, so I hope you, you're... Uh, you're good with each other because you really have nothing either side of the bed. Okay though, so let's have a look around to see what we get. So first things first as we walk in, we've got these unstealable hangers. There's quite a few of them. And we've got some extra towels down at the bottom. And we've even got some pillows in a bag. So we know people haven't had them before. They're in sealed bags. That's good. Now then, we've got a kettle tray with Yorkshire tea this time, we've got Nescafe, the sugars and the milk there, and do we have a clean kettle tonight? I'd say we do, that's not bad. There's a bit of a, a storage unit here and a bin, and it's really good that they thought of a place to put my bag, that is an actual bag stand. We've also got a full length mirror and a bit of a desk area with a proper chair and USB connections as well. Not bad this at all. Normally I really don't like Britannia, it, uh, Ramada, sorry. But this is uh, this is one of the good ones. So we've got a nice Samsung branded TV there. Again, really good quality TV. You should be able to connect to these if they're not in hotel mode. And we've got a nice uh, another mirror there. Now you can scan that and that'll tell you the, the menu that are serving downstairs. We've also got a floor lamp. And again, we've got USB charging points and high-speed internet right next to the bed with all the controls as well. Yeah, usually good quality mattresses and good quality uh, bedding in here. So, that's good. Right, let's have a look at the bathroom. It's quite small and compact, but it's nothing like the Holiday Inn I had the other night. But yeah, it's not bad at all, this. Very clean in here. Very modern. A nice sink there and a nice double shower. Only negative point I would say with East Hotel is they give you this soap. It's called Roots. I'll show you. It's absolutely awful. It smells like dish soap, you know, drain or some sort of industrial cleaner. It does not smell nice at all. It's meant to be uh, a luxury product, but it certainly isn't. But that aside, we've got towels, we've got uh, a bath mat there on the floor, and we've got decent pressure from a not too bad shower head, it's relatively new. But I've stayed at many Ramadas and I'd say this is the cleanest one of the lot. Toilet paper is not the cheapest either, sort of mid range. It would benefit from a new carpet in here until it's getting a bit rough in places, but it isn't quite there yet, so it's not bad. I'm going to have a quick look around this hotel shortly. It has got a gym, but I've just asked about at reception how I get the key for it, and they've told me I need to fill out a health questionnaire form to use the gym. They want to know everything. Have I ever had any heart condition or chest pain? Feels like I'm going to the doctors. I don't see why I need to do this to use an exercise bike. It's just a bit OTT, to be honest. Never, ever had that at any other hotel. But hey ho, that's that. That's what they want to do. So we'll see what this is. So also you've got a restaurant here. Uh, now when I did check in, I could see, all I could smell is like used oil. So that's not a good sign. Uh, I have eaten at Ramadas before and I found the food quality to be quite low. Um, it's not really value for money. They also do breakfast at a tenner. Okay guys, so it's the next morning now. I actually had a great night's sleep in this bed. Uh, really good quality, just like a premier in bed this. Um, but I then went for a shower. Just started to highlight some of the issues they had. So first things first, when you flush the chain, this sticks in. That's not good. But the main thing was this shower. So there's plenty of pressure there. Um, but someone has doctored the uh, head up with a bit of insulation tape. Also, the main 
riser just falls down. So when you're trying to have a shower, just dancing like this around and then eventually just goes to the bottom and it'll be over here. So not good at all. Definitely needs a dressing. Uh, someone also commented on the video last night saying what you know what do you expect for 36 pound but i must stress this is the first week in january or second week in january sorry and these prices aren't this much throughout the year it's usually around 80 pound a night this hotel uh but yeah just thought i'd add that i'll go and have a look around and see what you think so this is what you get for breakfast Actually not as bad as some other rumors I've been to. Come on in for breakfast. Okay, so that was it. That was it for tonight. This is a car park, you've got quite a big car park. It is free parking here, even though it's located on the services. Uh, so you go inside and you need to put your registration and it's free. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Let me know what you think and share to all your social media. Is it worth £36 tonight? I'd say it is, but usually it's a lot more than this.